The announcement of Nkurunzinza's dismissal followed widespread protest and unrest triggered by his announcement that he would seek a third term in office. His ambitions apparently cut short after an army general announced that President Nkurunzinza had been overthrown. Que suite à l'insécurité qui, qui règne dans notre pays. Major General Godefroy Nyombare, a former Burundi ambassador to Kenya who was fired by Nkurunzinza as an intelligence chief in February, reportedly announced the dismissal of the president at a military barrack. He reportedly said that Nkurunzinza had been dismissed due to his arrogance and defiance to the international community's advice against running for the presidency again. Celebrations broke out in the country's capital, Bujumbura, after the announcement with heavy military presence on the streets. All the while, President Nkurun Zinza was in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, to attend the East African Community Heads of State Summit to discuss the Burundi crisis. He did not, however, participate in the talks attended by President Uhuru Kenyatta, President Jakaya Kikwete of Tanzania, Paul Kagame of Rwanda, and Yoweri Museveni of Uganda. Immediately after, the East Africa Community Heads of State condemned the coup. The summit condemns in the strongest terms possible the coup in Burundi and the summit is of the view that it does not solve the problems of Burundi. The ESC heads of state have also called for an end to violence in Burundi and now want the June 26th election postponed. We all agree that the conditions at the moment are not conducive for elections to be held as scheduled. The summit will meet again in a fortnight to review the situation in Burundi. Nkurunzinza, who has been president since August 2005, caused an uproar after the announcement that he will be running in the June 26 presidential election. Protests then followed with his critics saying a third stab at the presidency would violate a two-term limit in the constitution and the Arusha peace deal, which ended an ethnically fueled civil war in 2005 that killed 300,000 people. Kurunzinza has argued that his first term does not count because he was appointed by parliament rather than elected, a point that was supported by the country's court, which ruled that he could run in the June elections. The house of Nkurunzinza now leaves Burundi a fragile state, with elections set to be held in just over a month's time. Hussein Mohammed for Citizen Business Center.